Okay, so we're gonna safety wire tie these rotor hats. This is a Willwood brake setup where it, uh, it has safety wire tie required to tie, to tie in the, uh, the bolts together, that way they don't back out. Um, things to make your life easier would be a set of uh, safety wire tie pliers. Come in different sizes and different types. This is a non-aviation style, so the difference in non-aviation style would be uh, two things. First thing is that it has, it's a serrated bite, a tooth here. On an aviation style, it would be a fa flat, smooth surface so that it doesn't put any, uh, any nicks in the safety wire tie. Uh, any nicks in the safety wire tie was, uh, would obviously cause some type of, you know, could cause a damage and the, the wire tie can break. So that's why aviation doesn't use it. Um, this is a standard uh, style wire tie, can be used for automotive use, anything that's non-critical and it's going to be inspected by an aviation uh, uh, technician, this is fine. Uh, the only other thing is aviation technician, uh, aviation uh, wire tie pliers have left and right side switches, so you can turn, it'll rotate the, the wrench left and, you know, right way or left, left handed depending on which way you need. Um, and basically the tool is very simple it has a locking clip to lock it so that you can grab the wires and then pull on the knob to twist and then squeeze to release very simple you'll need safety wire tie just to let you know they have different diameters um, Will would recommend uh, calls for uh, 32 thousandths wire this is a 32 thousandths uh, safety wire you can get them in different sizes so make sure you get the correct size diameter to pass through your safety bolts um, these bolts that come with this particular rotor are non-aviation style aviation style safety bolts generally have a 90 degree hole from each other this has just straight through holes so makes it a little bit more difficult to tie up to, to wire tie these um, and unfortunately they're not really machined very well so when you torque them down to specification they don't line up so we're gonna do the best we can to get these in correctly we'll start it up very simple grab your piece of wire and snip it okay what you want to do is you want to feed it through bottom here come up You need to pull this tight and measure. Once you have that, when you're wire tying, you have to make sure that the wraparound side of the bolt, when you when you twist your wire, is on the bottom side, like that. It should be on the bottom side, so the wire doesn't come loose and come over the bolt. So when the wire tie twists. The wire goes downward, not up over the bolt. So let's take a look here. The wire is nice and tight. Take your wrench. You want to measure it up to your bolt, which is about right there. Lock in your pliers and just pull. <laughs> Okay, now you have your wires tied up, come around, you want to pass from the back side so that when Having a pick helps in this situation. 
normally you wouldn't wire tire something with this much with this little clearance in between the bolts but for this particular setup this wire gets pretty damn close to the hat very little clearance put the wires through okay Okay, when you're tying off the bolt, you want to make sure that it's wounded real tight. You'll need to clip it at the end. Okay, you'll also need to bend it. Squeeze it down. And then twist it out of the way like that. You're all set. Move on to the next one. 